welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Julia. And I'm Gary. Um, what we're doing is spending the next year traveling the States. We've shipped our motor home over from the UK and we're going to talk to you about what we did. Or, well, actually what he did a bit more <laughs> to the point. Um, so, Gary, there was like three things you had to do. What did we have to do? So the first thing, the one you've got to do before you do anything else is get an exemption certificate from the Environmental Protection Agency over in the US. And the, re the way you do that mm. is basically you have to write to them. Oh, what, what, like like just an email? Yeah. So, so you okay. go onto their website uh -huh. and you download a form, you fill it in and you send it to them under a covering letter to say, blah, 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 when your dates are, etc. They okay. will then write back to you to tell you that you are exempt from the day the van arrives in the US. So you can do it before your trip and you're not eating into that year. And it didn't take you very long to do that. They were quite quick, weren't they? Yeah, I, I would say an hour to download it and to do all the details because your VIN number, your plate number, your dates that you, you're coming in. So you need sort of the stuff. whole stuff about yeah. your van, don't you? That's yeah. that's the main thing. Yeah. And does your van have to be an MOT? Are they bothered about that sort of side of life? Um, they do. It does say on there. Yeah. Is it legal? So right. obviously it's got to be taxed. And, yeah. and, um, and it MOT. is legal. Just, just in case anyone's wondering, it's hundred percent legal. Um, yeah. So, um, so you did that first. That so, was first. W once you got that exemption certificate, was that in like an email format? How was? How did you get that? Uh, they sent it to me via the post. Um, and oh, they email. did. Yeah. So I got right. a post and an email. So I had the physical thing, but I could have got the physical thing from the from an email by printing it off. Now you have to have that form and then they tell you to print off another form right. which you keep with it. And I got four copies because the customs take one, um, the port authorities take one, your shipping company takes one. And obviously if you're ever stopped by any police, which we won't be. Um, they never. <laughs> we, uh, they, <laughs> I hope not. Oh God, I hope not as well. We can't go fast <laughs> enough to get caught speeding. <laughs> it doesn't go that fast. <laughs> so yeah so you and you keep one in your own documents for it okay so and did it cost you anything it, we uh, did no, cost nothing was, that, did it, it at this point that, right so that nothing. bit was free so that was yeah. stage one the environmental protection agency right? That's right so then what what did we do then like you'd think i wasn't there but literally i just let him get on with this bit <laughs> so, so the second bit was finding a shipping company to do it okay i know a couple out there but i would say uh the company we went to a company called seabridge um, they were brilliant, they absolutely were brilliant. brilliant. They were really communicative. Um, they talked you through all the steps you needed to. Yeah. Uh, they told you who you needed to speak to at the port, both in Liverpool, because we got it on in Liverpool, and off in Baltimore. Now it goes to Halifax, Baltimore, and Brunswick on the on the west, oh, sorry, on the east coast of the US. Mm -hmm. So you've got those choices. Uh, we chose to do it in um, in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. So they give you a contact guy. Or girl is is somebody called a forwarder, yeah. and they give their details. You phone the forwarder up um, in Liverpool. It's a case of a week before to discuss with them when they want you to drop it off. So I think the website, if you go onto the Seabridge website anyway, it will tell you that you have to drop it off um, on the Thursday before the sailing, which happens on the Sunday or the Monday. And it takes about a fortnight, doesn't it? It takes get about over. a fortnight to get over. And there is sort of there are some things that you've got to do with your van, so you've got to make sure that it's it's completely clean throughout. And actually, we took like the curtains off, did all the the carpets, we did everything, yeah. didn't we? And you've got to make sure everything's out of sight, out of sight, out of mind, as it were. Yeah. Um, we read the the pamphlet that said you needed to put plastic all oh, over God, it. Yes. Oh my life! <laughs> so so we covered it. In sheet in plastic. plastic. It looked honestly, it was like something out like of CSI. Because you know? it said, it, it said so it in all the book. And then he turns up at the port. The bloke was a bit like, mm. "What have you done all that for?" I said, "Well, I'm on. <laughs> you told me to do it." And he says, "Yeah, we just it's worst case scenario." <laughs> I said, what's worst case? You're like, is someone going to get killed in here? You know, it's like... Well, your dad was a bit worried when he saw the van it like was. that, you know. Um, so anyway, uh, so that was the second stage um, of what you're doing. So what did we do from that? Now, we better talk about cost, Ka-Chung. It's, yeah. actually, it's actually not super cheap or anything. It's not. Now, our van is, what's our length again? Um, our van is 7.5 metres. Okay, so, and it is by your it length, is by length, isn't yep. it? Not yep. weight, thank God, <laughs> they've charged us more. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so, um, right, so how much was ours? It was so, in So, Europe. we were initially quoted 
um, oh, no, no, weren't we? No, Not yeah, uh, no, yeah Cause, we, were. Cause, we were. We were initially quoted a, a lesser amount, yeah. but then the fuel prices went up. That's right. So and really, got, what did we pay? So we, so we paid um, £4,600. Was it 600 or 4,600 euros? It was 4,600 euros. euros. Yeah. Um, however, euros. it's nearly that at the moment. So <laughs> yes. it, 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 the exchange rate wasn't isn't brilliant at the moment, no. as we all know. But So we, we paid just over 4 k Now, that to get it one way. Yeah. So that includes, you obviously, the trip. It includes the forwarder fees yeah. in Liverpool and most of the port fees in Liverpool and Baltimore. It also covers your um, marine insurance for the journey itself. Yeah. Um, that's what that that's But what it, it doesn't cover, um, you had to pay something So in I had to pay an dollars, escort in, in yeah. Baltimore. At least that's what I've said. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, really was. They call an escort. You can't go into Baltimore Harbour <laughs> or into the port without an escort, and you actually have to phone up an escort service. Uh, All right, so... you're getting a bit of mileage out of nothing here. <laughs> so, <laughs> God, so alive. I to phone up. This, Sorry about him. I had to phone up this escort, who was a guy, um, <laughs> to come and meet me at the shipping office, um, and then he basically drove me in the port. We did all the customs, etc., and and got it out. Yeah. Now it says you can do it. It says it should take up to two hours. In reality, it took us five minutes with the with the shipping company, and then twenty minutes in the port, and um, doing the paperwork. And then the majority of time we spent in the port waiting was for the final port person to come in and say, "Yep, yeah, you can drive it away." They didn't do anything. They just looked at it and went, "Yep, yeah, you can drive it away." So. So that was uh, that was good, and then finally, the the main thing you've got to do before you even take it onto the the docks at Liverpool is you've got to insure it. Haven't you've you? got to get insurance. So for... what was the difficulties with the insurance? For so us? so there are a couple of things with the insurance. Um, some companies. So there are very few companies who will insure you in the states without a US address. Now um, the company we went through, Tum Insurance, T H U M, they provide you with their um, main office, their head office address to use as, as an address. Yeah. So that's how you get around that. Um, and we paid for really the year, good. didn't we? We paid for the for the whole year. Yeah, we did. And the cost and is about a grand, I think. It was about it? um so it was it was in dollars. Mm. Actually it was just over two thousand dollars for the year. Okay. So that gives you a kind of a, a an indication of what it's going to cost to get over here. So you're going to need at least four thousand for your shipping and then another couple of grand for the insurance and that's fully comprehensive insurance with with everything yeah. taken into consideration you also need to think about your visas but we'll cover that in another video anyway this is our very first introduction video hope you enjoyed it please hit the subscribe button i think that's what they all say isn't it yeah. and uh and let us know what you think and Thanks. we'll try and put links to tom insurance and the environmental protection agency in the video yeah we'll try and do that but we are quite novicey. So this is the first video. So we welcome positive comments only. Thanks. Right. Thanks very much, guys. See you soon. I'll see you soon. Bye.